In this video, I'm going to show you how to design t-shirts just like this in Cricut Design Space. We're going to be using heat transfer vinyl for this project. To cut the heat transfer vinyl, we're going to be using a Cricut Explore Air 2. We're also going to be going over the heat press settings so that you can get the perfect press when making this t-shirt. I upload videos daily on helping you grow your clothing brand. So if you find value in this video, hit that subscribe and smash that like button. Everything used in this video is going to be linked in the description so that way you guys aren't worried about trying to find everything. If you guys have any questions about anything in this video, meet me in the comment section. Let's get started and open up Cricut Design Space. Now let's go ahead and make our t-shirt design on Cricut Design Space. We're going to go ahead and start off with the blank template. Now I have a design in my mind that I want to make already. You can go ahead and steal this design 100% and apply it to your clothing brand. This is for you guys to use. Um, if, if, you, if not, no worries. You guys can literally do whatever you guys want in this process. But this is for people who are just starting out and just need something to go off of. Just follow this and I got you guys. So we're going to go right here and we're going to hit text. My brand is called The Recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and type out The Recipe. We're going to highlight the whole thing. We're going to hit font. Now I downloaded a font called athletic, which is the one I'm going to be using today. So I went ahead and hit the systems tab because any font that you download is going to end up there. So let's go ahead and click it, exit that out. Now, there we go. Now we have that right. So I want to fix it up a little bit. I don't like the size of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and where it says size, there's a lock. Make sure you hit it to unlock it. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now stretch it out a little bit. Kind of like in, there we go. So you see how I made it a little bit longer? Uh, you need to hit that box and unlock it for that to even be possible. Now, what I wanna do now is hit curve. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a nice little curve. I'm thinking, right there i like that so you see how i made that little curve now i'm addicted to making two color designs on cricut design space with heat transfer vinyl so what i'm going to go ahead and do here is go up here and hit offset now what that does is add a layer in the back now on this step make this size whatever you feel is appropriate to what you like i'm going to go ahead and make it Mm, 0 0.111 now we're gonna hit apply um i like that but i am gonna make it a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and hit offset again just a hair there we go i like that better all right so i am now going to add another one and at the bottom, I'm gonna have it say worldwide. Now we can go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. My brand is called The Recipe Worldwide, which is why I just chose this. But there we go. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, now let's make it the size that we're gonna want on our t-shirt. So go ahead and highlight the whole thing. And then for the width, I'm gonna say, I'll probably do about 10 inches. I think I like how, uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, hit it with 11 inches. And for the height, I think I'll make it a little bit taller. Boom, there we go. Now we can go ahead and unhighlight it all. I just highlighted it so that it would stay together when I resized it so the whole thing would size together because it's all different layers. Um, all right, so now what we're gonna wanna do is the top layer, we're gonna wanna remove it. Let's zoom out a little bit. We're gonna wanna remove it because these two right here are gonna be one color and then this one is gonna be a separate color but we want it on one mat. So we're gonna separate it like this. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and highlight all of it, hit combine, and then hit unite. So what that's gonna do is make sure that it keeps all those layers on one mat, because if you skip that combine step and unite step, 
uh, they're gonna all end up on different mats, which is fine. You could do that too, but you're gonna waste a lot of time versus if you just had it all on one mat. So now let's go ahead and hit make it. And as you can see here, uh, the design is past 12 inches. So it's gonna be required that we have a 12 by 24 mat. Um, if you need one, I do have it in my Amazon storefront, but when you get to this step, it's very important that you mirror the image. You want to mirror the image because it's heat transfer vinyl. When you cut it and apply it, it's going to, it's going to make sense and it's going to be facing right up. So after we hit that, we're going to go ahead and continue and, uh, out, let's go, let's go ahead and, uh, plug in our Cricut vinyl cutter and load up our machine. All right, so I went ahead and I pre-cut my vinyl. Um, like I said, the top layer is going to be the black. Oh, wait, oops. We're almost put it on the wrong way. And then um, if you guys are looking for a quality heat transfer vinyl, make sure you guys hit that link in my bio, or I'm sorry, in the description. All right, and what I'm doing right here is, uh, if you notice the corners are kind of coming up, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape uh, just because I don't want it coming up and uh, getting caught in the rollers because if that happens then your vinyl is definitely going to be getting messed up. Alright, cool. Now on here. So for regular heat transfer vinyl, um, I ended up putting the knob on the Cricut Explore Air 2 on Iron On Plus. If you have a fresh needle on here, that should be okay. If not, maybe crank it up one. But I do recommend, and I always say this in all my videos, make sure you guys are uh, pre-cutting just to make sure that your settings are, you know, the correct settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit fast mode. And uh, once we've you know applied our vinyl into the, the machine, we're gonna get the blinking C. We're gonna go ahead and hit that. And there we go. So this should only take about a minute or two. Um, when this is done, we're gonna go ahead and peel this together and then we're gonna apply it on the shirts and then we're gonna move on to the next couple steps. All right, now that the vinyl cutter is done, it's time to go ahead and peel the vinyl. I like using tweezers, um, but everybody's different. You don't have to use tweezers. You can just go ahead and use one of those like, you know, those pointy uh, weeding tools. Those are okay, I use them sometimes. Um, but like I said, everybody's different. There's no wrong way. And then uh, during this process, make sure you're taking your time and when you're peeling the vinyl, make sure you're peeling like against the way the cuts are made, if that makes sense. You just wanna be careful because sometimes the letters can come off. So just go ahead and take your time on this part. We're gonna get way better uh, over time, don't worry. I know it probably can be a little frustrating and you probably might mess up some vinyl along the way. Just, you know, it's part of the, process uh you know sometimes i'm not paying attention and it happens to me where i mess up some vinyl so if that ever happens to you don't feel bad you know what i mean it happens and you're gonna get better all right and there we go this is always my favorite part i get to see what it looks like oops Oh yeah, 
That's going to look good on a white t-shirt. All right, now let's get to the heat press so I can teach you guys the proper heat settings and the timing. Let's get it. For this video, we're going to be using a Shockaware Active Cotton Blank. These are definitely one of my most favorite blank tees just because of how it lays on me. And the collar is extremely thick, so it doesn't get all like wrinkly and give you that bacon neck that we all hate, right? So we're gonna go ahead and set the heat press to 365 degrees. That's gonna be the perfect heat for heat transfer vinyl. Um, I wouldn't go past anything, you know, past 380 degrees for heat transfer vinyl. Um, anything under that between 365 and 380 seems to be perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and pre-press our t-shirt to get all that moisture that might have stayed locked in through, you know, shipping process and, you know, all those things. So, let's go ahead and pre-press it for 15 seconds. And it's, a, it's getting a little warm over here, so uh, get yourself like a little fan, you know what I mean? It'll be nice for you. Right. Now that we have pre-pressed, let's go ahead and grab our first layer. So this is what it's gonna end up looking like. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do four fingers down. Boom, right there, perfect. Now you can use one of those like collar measuring tools, but I've just been doing this for a really long time. I'm pretty confident with uh, where I apply the vinyl when I'm pressing. All right, so let's go ahead and press this for 15. No, you know what? We need to do 10 seconds because I don't want to burn the bottom layer because we still have to apply this one. So we're going to do this one for 10 seconds. Now this is a heat resistant glove that I have. I'm just gonna give it a pat down, make sure it's good. Now, we also wanna make sure that um, you know what type of vinyl you have as far as cold peel or hot peel. So for example, this is hot peel, meaning it could be peeled while it's hot, but if it was cold peel, this would be lifting right now. So always make sure you know what type of vinyl you're dealing with, cause you don't wanna mess anything up. So there's our first layer. Now let's go ahead and add this red. And this one, we're gonna go ahead and do this one for 15 seconds. Ooh, I almost burned myself. All right, let's go ahead and hit it for 15 seconds. Now, remember, peel slow. That way we make sure it's hot peel. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This honestly came out a little better than I expected. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. There we go. That looks dope. And take the screen off. And... Boom. There we go, guys. All right, if you made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you, and I'm very proud of you. If you found value in this video, please hit that subscribe, smash that like, and meet me in the comment section if you guys have any questions. I drop videos weekly. If you guys want me to answer any of your questions specifically or make any videos to anything, Meet me in the comment section and let me know. Thank you guys.